Hi everyone and welcome to the video. So I am 37 weeks pregnant and this is a what's in my hospital bag video for baby number two. If you're new here, my name's Alex, did I say that? I don't know. Anyway, I have a two year old son and I'm expecting baby boy number two. I do mum and lifestyle videos here and would love to have you subscribe. So click that subscribe button and the little notification bell so you can see when I put out a new video. But without further ado, let's get into the video and see what I've got packed in my hospital bag. Okay, so first of all, what kind of bag am I taking? I am taking a little carry-on suitcase. I tried to be all like cool and relaxed this time and pack a like a big beach duffel bag type thing because I feel like when you arrive at the hospital with a suitcase it might be a bit like what are you here for but in all honesty it's just easier to pack in a flat suitcase and have everything organized so that's what I'm going with. Um, I am going to be giving birth in a public hospital and just staying hopefully as short a time as possible all being well with pregnancy so with the birth so we don't really need a lot of stuff also we live 10 minutes drive from the hospital so if we do need anything that I haven't packed like if we happen to need to stay extra days my husband can just come home and get extra clothes so with that in mind, let's see what I've got in here. In no particular order, let's have a look. So, okay, first thing I've got in here is just a little list of things that I need to pack at the last minute. So, phone and charger, clothes to go home in, um, track pants and a t-shirt, underwear and some juice. Um, so I don't know what the weather's going to be like and I'm currently running on a pretty limited supply of maternity clothes because it's just turned wintry here and I only have a few weeks left so I don't have like a ton of clothes to keep in there so that's why I've just got some last minute things to pack. So that'll be help me to not have to think on the day. The next thing I have is just a um, small toiletries bag here and I've got a brush, some little um, shampoo and conditioner because after you give birth you kind of want to feel all fresh again and use your nice shampoo, deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, lip balm, um, I need to add Panadol, no I don't really need to add Panadol, I'll have pain um yeah a couple of last minute things need to go in there as well but just a little toiletry bag makeup wise um la like last pregnancy i kind of i did my makeup before i went to the hospital just because you don't want to feel like i didn't want to feel like a complete dago if i got a photo taken immediately after but um I don't know I might do the same I might not but either way it's nice to feel a little bit fresh when you're going home um, what I'm probably not going to be doing is fussing too much about like a going home outfit because in all honesty you are just walking out of the hospital and getting in your car and going home no one's seen you it's not like you're um, Kate whatever her last name is royal going onto the steps and people are going to be like applauding you at the front of the front of the hospital so you know um so i've got i have packed in here some underwear that i would feel comfortable um with nurses and stuff seeing me in because i don't actually know what i'm going to be wearing while i'm in labor um last time i kind of had just a floaty dress on which was fine but I want something a little bit longer possibly if I'm like on the floor I don't want my butt hanging out like it kind of was last time I just want to feel but then in the moment it all kind of goes out the window and you don't care so if I am just in my underwear I wanted to pack some that I feel comfortable in I don't want 
it to be like I go into labor and the only pair I left are like my beige Nana underpants. So they've been put aside. Um, the other thing that I bought possible, possibly for laboring in is this dress. It's uh, not a maternity dress. It's a, just a much bigger size um, to accommodate my belly. And it's a, a sort of like long nighty that comes right down to my knees. It's got long sleeves, but it's lightweight cotton, so I can roll them up if I need to. And it's buttoned down. So if I happen to be walking around in the room in labor, um, this is something that I feel would be comfortable. And it's also something that with button down sleeves, I can just quickly undo it if the baby can be placed on my chest. And it's also inexpensive and something I wouldn't want to keep. So the things get messy and it doesn't matter. Um, the other option that I've packed for potential um, birth scenario is just swimming costume. So I've just got uh, like my basic um, black bikini thing if I I'm hoping to be able to be in the bath so I've just packed that I've I've got a few options for different scenarios Lindsay has packed a pair of boardies just in case he needs to be in the shower or whatever I might pack a second pair in case he's in and out um for me, clothes-wise, as I said, I'm not really packing my clothes until the last second. I'll just grab what's available. But I've got some comfy PJ pants here that I'm definitely keeping aside because they're comfortable um, around. A lot of my PJ pants don't fit at the moment. These are like nice and comfortable. And then I just bought this very oversized shirt again that has buttons and long sleeves just because it might be cold in the hospital um and you want something breastfeeding friendly but also like just loose but kind of new and fresh that you feel comfortable in you know tick a few boxes but all in all i'm not really worrying that much about clothes because we can't uh, there's no visitors allowed in the hospital at the moment anyway in the maternity ward it will literally just be my husband and i so hopefully we're not there for very long what else have i got so i've got some snacks in here um last time we packed way too many snacks we had like a whole bag of snacks but we were there for two nights last time um this time as i said hoping to not be there longer but I have packed a couple of noodle cups. This is just in case we're there for like a long time and um, Lindsay wants to have a quick meal and like can't dart off to the cafe or it's the middle of the night and just whatever. Just in case really. I've got a Gatorade for myself. We've also got a little um, protein shake here for me or Lindsay. I've got a couple of um, protein bars and an OT slice um, and I need to add like a little juice, a couple of juice boxes, poppers because I've been really craving them lately and just for like a little burst of energy if I need it. Um, I know a lot of hospitals have like a no eating, no drinking policy but really it's up to you whether you want to eat or drink and if you have been laboring for a while then of course you're going to need a bit of sustenance so just a couple of snacks but not going overboard this time nick i think last time we fully had pringles and chocolate we had like after birth celebratory snacks <laughs> it was ott I've also packed this um, little jar of sleepy moisturizing lotion. So this is it um, for Lindsay to be able to give me like a back massage or any kind of massage. If, if I'm in the frame of mind to even ask for that, I may not 
want to be touched or may not even think of this but it's just in case we need that um for baby i've packed some nappies here i think this is way too many because the hospital does provide you with some newborn nappies but i've just packed like the little ones and then slightly bigger ones just in case so i've got one two three four five six seven. i've got eight there which is plenty um and for his clothes i have packed um a size four zero uh what wonder suit zippy and i've packed a uh five zero zippy uh, not zippy just a little um onesie jed was 3.15 kilos and he was born and he fit into five zero for about a week or so so i've just packed two just in case i'd be surprised if the baby went straight to three zeros but if he does they have they have singlets and little gowns at the hospital so i don't want to overpack i've also packed a little singlet to go underneath these if it's a cold day when we leave but we'll obviously just be getting straight in our car and coming home so we don't need to it, don't no overkill there and just a little hat in case he needs one after he's born but um you know they provide blankets and all that jazz there and a little pair of socks Oop. uh i've also packed a muslin swaddle i don't think we'll be needing this because they do provide blankets and stuff but i've just packed it just in case really maybe if we want to get a photo i don't know it's just in case totally not necessary um so now i look into the side pocket a friend gave me a um baby shower gift the other day and it came in this really cute little welcome baby bag. I just thought it would be um, a good idea to have a bag in here for like dirty clothes or whatever. So I'll pack that. Um, I've got some pads in here. So uh, last time I had the super big, huge ones and they were overkill for me. I didn't bleed that much um so i sorry tmi if you do i'm quite confident that they provide you with that so these are just sort of they are heavy ones but they're not ridiculous surfboard type things so they're just for afterwards um and also for uh i've packed these uh nipple shields these ones are by medalla so after in the first few weeks of jed's life with breastfeeding we needed to use nipple shields because he wasn't able to latch properly and these just helped him to latch because my tmi again i had like a flapped ish nipples and so he couldn't latch on to anything very well so what these are you they come in three different sizes and you you have to make them met anyway they go over the top of your nipple and the baby latches onto this instead and what we and then over the course of a few weeks it kind of draws out the nipple and um we at the three or four week mark switched were able to transition to not use these anymore um they are kind of annoying uh and messy to use a little bit like if the baby pulls away the milk can spill out but they were allowed me to teach him to breastfeed so i'm hoping i don't need these second time they say second time around you like it's already kind of drawn out so you don't probably won't need these but i wanted to have them on hand for the hospital 
if I do need them. So I'll keep them in the packet and if I don't need them, I can return them because it's like 30 bucks for one pack. Um, I've also packed some dummies. These are the Nook um, orthodontic ones. Uh, we used a dummy with Jed on the second day against our intentions. They do say don't give them to them in the first two weeks of life because it creates like nipple confusion or, you know, they're sucking so they think they're feeding but they're not really. Um, if we can, uh, the reason he was more upset as well at the beginning is because he wasn't getting enough milk from me. Um, so hoping to avoid having to use these, but if we do need to, then I just wanted to have them ready to go. With Jed, we tried a few different types of dummies, um, and these are the ones that he ended up liking. So we've just gone straight to this type, and hopefully new baby is the same. So that is everything that I have in my hospital bag. Um, I'll also, I'll probably just be wearing thongs, aka flip-flops to the hospital. Um, and we'll wear them like in the shower and stuff like that. So there's a few little extra things like that that I do need to pack. But that is the gist of it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!